We were trying to thin down some thick comb when it happened. I guess it was because I wasn't wearing my lucky red hat. But I dropped the comb the frame and the comb busted out Here's onto the ground. Means. I will try to scavenge as much as possible for the bees and for me. This is the one that fell out. Oh, it, it might not have fell out if it wasn't foundationless and unwired. Here's a piece from another one we were trying to cut that was too thick as well. See the straggler still here? Hopefully I get it done before they all come back in full force to get their honey. Here we go, as I was carrying it, some bees even came in and started looking it up. Hopefully they'll have it clean. Aftermath. Bees are everywhere where I spilled it. A bunch of it got down under there. They're covering over here. So, let's see what they do when I try to put this frame in. Quilt box. Go see if that one has it under. We've got to put it under that one. It was in for repairs. The screen on it started to pull off because of propolis. I might wait a bit, but then again, it might not. Should be fine if I go slow and steady. I'll leave it for now. Time to deliver another bit of comb to where I set the rest of it. They're making a fuss. Not too many bees, I don't think. What are y'all doing on the ground there? Hey. Yo, have some more. Look at them. Trying to reclaim the stuff we stole from them. I can't blame them. Can you? I did not mean for that to happen at all. Entirely accidental. Going back out to take the cookie sheet to the bees. Boy, they look like they's having fun. All over. What are they doing down here? They're hiding in the shade. Cleaning each other off. I'll walk out to look at the hives. Uh, and I'll see what they're doing on the way back. Over oh, here's the hive. Side of the hill. That's where the name comes from. Seems to be buzzing right through here. Definitely a mess. I'm, I'm not, I didn't really want to do. I'm sorry, the bees. I'm sorry, bees. I didn't mean to do it. If I knew that was to happen, I wouldn't have done it. Ah, oh, well, that's the learning curve. Rather steep. Just a lot of flying. Doesn't seem to be much other of a problem. Small hives steal some of the big hives' resources. I don't really see that as being much of a problem. Looks like they're done down here. Mostly. We're all over it right now. There's nothing out there for you. Yeah, they're trying to get up in here. Even though there's no hole. Why would they do that? I'm gonna try to put this frame in now. See what happens. If I yell, I'll probably edit it out. Ah, there's a B space.
Oh great, it looks like a student in there trying to fill in the gap. Luckily for me, I almost got here in time. Doing licking the edge. Licking the gap, I don't know. I have to disrupt them. Definitely trying to festoon down from there. Glad I got here. In you go. Inside a beehive. First time ever. Hopefully not the last. I just need to squeeze them together. Where do you go? Get them off of there. So let's get this together. Squish together, ready to go. I just need to get you off of here. I wish I had a brush with me. Oh yeah. Decided to get back to you after I lighted my smoker. Down, go home. Oh, where was I? Back to what I was doing. They're not very happy about me doing this, but it has to be done. Smoke myself. Time to lay smoke fuse, so hopefully I don't run out before I'm done here. The smoke is sm <coughs> smoky. Probably like, well, uh, duh, but it is. So. Quilt box going on. Finally, lid. Let's stick a lid on it. There we go. We'll be done for now. I'll cork the smoker. Handy. Come on. I don't know if you can see that smoker plug. Just yeah. There. These bees are all in the shade here. I don't know why. Let's see if we can find out. What do they seem to be doing? They're cleaning. Looks to be they're cleaning themselves off. About an hour later. They seem to have it cleaned up a good bit. This is what it looks like three and a half hours later. Looks like they got most of it off. It's really kind of cool. I'm going to flip it over now. Definitely. I'll be back soon enough. Especially after it all gets flipped over. Some of them died in there. Drawn off way too long. Some of them died under there, trying to get down there. Uh, please flip it over. You could have just said that, you know. I use my great spatula. And here's the hive. Three and a half hours later. I suppose they're all inside cleaning up the mess we made. Here is 
about five and a half hours later, being two hours after I flipped it. 